good faith this same young sober blooded boy doth not love me, nor a man cannot make him laugh. But that's no marvel, he drinks no wine. There's never none of these demure boys come to any proof, for thin drink doth so overcool their blood, and making many fish meals that they fall into a kind of male green sickness, and when they marry they get wenches. They are generally fools and cowards, but some of us should be too, but for inflammation. A good sherry sack hath a twofold operation in it. It descends me into the brain, dries me there with the foolish, dull, and curdy vapours which environ it, makes it apprehensive, quick, fortunate, full of nimble, fiery, and delectable shapes. Delivered o'er the voice of the tongue, it is the birth, becomes excellent wit. The second property of your excellent sherry is the warming of the blood, which before cold and settled, left the liver white and pale, which is the badge of pusillanimity and cowardice. But the sherry warms it and makes it cause from the inwards to the parts extreme. It illumineth the face which as a beacon gives warning to all the rest of this little kingdom, man to arm, and then the vital commoners and island petty spirits muster me all for their captain, the heart of great and puffed up with this retinue, nothing need deed of courage, and this valour comes of sherry. So that the skill and the weapon is nothing without sack. The sack commences it and sets it in act and use. Hereof comes it that Prince Harry is valiant for the cold blood he did naturally inherit of his father. He hath, like lean, sterile, and bare land, manured, husbanded, and tilled, with excellent endeavour of drinking good and good store of fertile sherry, that he has become very hot and valiant. If I had a thousand sons, the first human principle I would teach them should to be forswear thin potations and to addict themselves to sack.